Okay, so to help um, us understand and visualize wave packets and the group velocity and the phase velocity a little bit better, I found this really cool um, Mathematica um, simulation tutorial on the web, which I'm which I'm now running here. So you can see that we have a wave packet. Don't worry so much about the the scale here, the units. Okay, so we have some displacement wave in the vertical, some displacement in the vertical axis, and some uh, x displacement, so y and x. Okay, and we have this wave packet. So it's a uh, it's got wiggles. It's got some average wavelength, but its amplitude is modulated very much like on the previous view graph. Okay, now you can actually this this wave packet is actually composed of five of of many different um, partial waves, uh, so many different individual waves that are summed together to produce this um, this um, sum. And here are five of the waves. Okay, uh, right there, and so uh, and you can see that in this case the waves have different amplitudes and they also have different frequent, uh, frequencies and wavelengths and you can see uh, that they have different wavelengths for example it's going from small it's going from short to long as we go from top to bottom so you could count peaks one two four five six seven eight nine peaks in the top one and only one two three four five six peaks in the bottom one so there's in fact in this in this particular simulation they assume that there's a varying wavelength, varying k vector, varying momentum for the waves, which is distributed according to a Gaussian distribution, um, and uh, and also the amplitudes are are different. So when you add those, uh, when you add these uh, 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 individual waves together, you get the wave packet that I showed before, and um, which basically will have an average wavelength of this one that's showing right that's showed right here in the center. So now if we, if we basically run time by basically moving this slider to the right, okay, you can see these little black dots, okay, here, 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 which are keeping track of the phase of the individual wave components, okay. So these, this is, these are the phase velocities for these individual waves, and the, and the phase velocities are different because uh, we know that, that the phase velocity is equal to omega over k, and that will be different for each different wave, okay? And so you can see, let me just run it backwards, so you can see how these phases evolve in time, okay? And the waves move from left to right, or right to left if I run time backwards. Now if I look at the um, the wave packet again, um, and now I, I'll, I run time, and now the little black dot that you see in the middle here is going to keep track of the center of this particle, of the center of this wave packet. So if we draw the envelope, it's going to keep track of the center position of the envelope. Okay, so now if I move time, what you see is that that black dot does indeed track the center of the particle, but what you also notice is that the phase velocity of this wave packet uh, is different than the group velocity. So the group velocity is represented by the movement of this, of this um, black dot and the phase velocity is represented by the movement of any, any given peak. So for example, let's take the central peak here and watch how it moves. Okay, and you see that it's moving slower than, um, than the particle itself. And in fact, it moved half as far in a particular amount of time as the particle itself. And this agrees with what we um, showed in the classical case, that the group velocity is actually half the particle velocity. Okay, um, we can if we uh, go back and we uh, increase the uncertainty momentum. That is, if we make actually let's um, let's decrease the average momentum. That makes it that makes it spread out. Okay, and now if we look at the individual waves. Okay, we see that we're basically just making all of them longer wavelength. Okay. And now, if, again, if we look at the particle, the, the, um, the wave packet, then we get the same phenomena, but now just the, the wavelength is, the average wavelength is longer.